President Trump and his team moved willfully through multiple means to attempt to halt the peaceful transfer of power. The committee has brought in either voluntarily or via a subpoena over 800 different individuals who were witnesses to the January 6th insurrection in some capacity. That means some top former Trump aides. It means some people who were involved with the rally, logistics and planning. And then it also means the actual insurrectionists, people who are also being criminally charged by the DOJ. They potentially played a part in an attack on American democracy. The committee's scrambling to wrap up these interviews and these depositions really put a period onto the investigative phase of their work to move to the public hearing phase. And they essentially only have one to two months left to do that. So legally, a criminal referral from the committee is toothless, but politically it carries a lot of weight. Federal Judge David O. Carter uh, had a ruling uh, in recent days in which he said uh, that the former president most likely committed crimes. Uh, have you read that ruling and uh, does it make a difference in the work that the Justice Department is doing? We follow the facts and the law wherever they lead. Um, and uh, that's all I can say about the investigation. If anything, it carries more weight um, from the moral mandate that the committee, uh, I that is sort of a North Star for the committee, you know, deciding whether or not the former president is fit to be in public office in some capacity ever again. At the end of the day, though, it, it is in the DOJ's power to act on uh, any criminal charges that the former president will potentially face. There are going to be a number of significant things that the committee leaves for the public record. That includes a final report, which I imagine will be something that will be similar to the 9-11 uh, commission report. Then there's also the public hearings that will be also sort of left for the public record. The committee is very aware that it's that the way they communicate what they find is just as important as their actual findings. Um, and that it will all, at least right now, as is the plan, that's all supposed to get done before the midterms. Take that house, take it now! We haven't received much insight from the committee on where exactly they are in the process of making sure that this never happens again phase of the investigation. They have stayed pretty focused on their mandate, which was to put together the most comprehensive record of what exactly happened on January 6th, how it happened, why it happened, and how to make sure that it never happens again. If Republicans take back the House in November, the committee's work will essentially be moot because Democrats will no longer have the majority.